Hi guys, I just welcome you guys all back to my channel and today I am here with my anticipated releases for the first half of 2019. The reason that I've decided to split this list up into two is that I will probably do another video like this in June. I just have a lot of books that are coming out in the first half that I just felt like this video would be far too long. So we're only going to do the books that I need to read that are releasing between January and June of 2019. Now I will preface this by saying yes there are actually more books on my Goodreads that I have a list of that are coming out in the first half of 2019 but these are books that I've like basically already invested my soul into and I just need to see them through. The first book it comes out on January 8th it's Black Enough Stories of Being Young and Black in America. It's written by authors such as E.B. Zoboy, Daniel Clayton, Tiffany Jackson. Um, pretty much a bunch of black females so I, I'm assuming this is going to be more of an essay style which I am here for 180% I would just like to hear their stories because I can personally tell you what it's like for me to be young and black in America but I would just like to hear you know other people's stories as well so that comes out January 8th uh, this next book it's from the Chainbreakers series by Tara Sim. The third book is called Firestarter and it comes out on January 15th. I'm basically invested in the story. Y'all know how I feel about the whole clock spirit part, but I felt like in um, Chainbreaker, which is the second book, the story took an interesting turn. So from what I understand for Firestarter is that they actually want to bring back the God of Time. So the whole mythical aspect of this story, it's what's keeping me. Not the whole relationship with the clock spirit thing that I'm just like, no, y'all could have just did a regular LGBT relationship. Y'all didn't have to make this dude a spirit, but I digress. Yeah. Another book that comes out actually on my birthday, which is January 29th, A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmimmer. Kim 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 never say her name right but basically from what i understand this is a dark retelling of the beauty and the beast and i enjoy dark retellings it's like the only kind of like thriller stuff i really enjoy so i'm looking forward to that this next book is called four <laughs> four dead queens by astrid scults s-c-h-o-l-t-e um it comes out february 26th it's about a story of a girl who intercepts some basically some intelligence that it, that unravels into being a conspiracy where the four queens of the realm are killed so I figured I'd give it a try it's another queendom kind of book so I figured yes let's do that the next book also comes out on February 26th and it is the Pri Priori of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon from what I understand this is an adult sci-fi fantasy novel and since I haven't really delved into that category a lot I figured that this would be a book that I would try it again is based on another queendom um, where they are trying to avoid war there's a little bit of magic she's working in getting an air all these things so another queendom series that I want to see if I'm interested in March 5th is another date uh, just like last year where I'm super excited because we have two books coming out that are on my must reads and that is The Everlasting Rose which is The Bell's second book by Danielle Clayton so it focuses on what happens at the end of The Bell's. If you read The Bell's you know what I'm talking about. I need answers. So that's the first book on March 5th and the second book of March 5th is Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Edieme and again Yes, they both happen to be black authors that I just recently got acquainted with, but their stories were actually good, so I'm very excited. Ah, oh, you have no idea. Both of those books left me with so much anguish that I need to see what happens in both of them. So on April 30th, Nanende Okorafor's uh, comic or graphic novel, I can't remember which one it is, but it's about Shiri comes out, and I just want to read it because the... Um, the illustrator of this series is one of my favorite illustrators and then I also like her writing and I feel like she fits perfectly into that genre of writing so I look forward to seeing how they come together and make it. On May 7th I get Finale which is the third book in the Caraval series by Stephanie Garber. Um, I haven't read Legendary yet but my goal is to have read Legendary before this book comes out so yeah this my TBRs are already forming guys already. On May 21st, Cena McGuire's book of Spider-Gwen comes out, which I know for a fact is a graphic novel. 
Um, if you saw Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which was a super good movie, then you should have some kind of interest in Spider-Gwen. If you didn't already have interest in her before, you should now. So that's on my list because I decided that I actually want to read about her like as the main spider character, I want to read about her. Obviously Miles is in there too, but like I want to read about her side of the world situation. Also on May 21st, we get Kingsbane, which is the second book in the Furyborn series by Claire Legrand. And um, I feel like I'm going to reread Furyborn just to make sure that I'm not accidentally mixing this story up with another story because I found myself mixing it up with Rebel with Rebel of the Sand, I think. So I have to go back and read it. So we're going to reread Furyborn before this book comes out because it was a lot happening in the first book. So it's on my list. And the final book that I have to read that is coming out on June 25th is Soul of the Sword by Julie Kagawa. This is the second book of the Shadow of the Fox series. So if you read Shadow of the Fox, you know how it ends. And the title alone is perfect for this because it's hard to it's hard to talk about this book without giving away spoilers. But the title of the second book tells you everything if you've read the first book. Like I'm so excited. So yeah. All right, guys, those are my most anticipated releases for the first half of 2019. What are yours? Leave them down below in the comments section. And until the next time, guys. Bye.